Hello. Right, I am going to demonstrate placing an image across the page fold in InDesign um, because someone at university asked for a demonstration and I forgot to do it earlier. So I thought I would do one now. First time I've used this screen recording thing, so uh, let me know if it's useful. Now, if you're going to place an image across the fold of a page in InDesign, you get a problem where the pages fold together in the middle here um, that some of the image will be hidden, so we need a way of um, counteracting that. And this is what we're going to do. I'm using two separate layers, um, which I've called Demo Left and Demo Right. Um, you don't actually have to do this, but I find it's helpful just to um, see where you're up to in any given time. So I'll work on the Demo Left layer first. You're not going to only put the image on the left at this stage, though. So you create a frame using the rectangle frame tool to show the whole extent of where you want the image to be placed. Okay. This technique of course works if the image goes all the way to the edge, or if it's full bleed, or if it's just a smaller portion. I think this might be a little bit easier to see. Um, so I'm doing it like this for this stage. And then into that frame you're going to place the image that you want to um, use. I will, oh, what shall I use? Um, doesn't really matter for the purposes of this demonstration, so how about this one here? You'll see I've got them all saved with the uh, blur profile already. Okay, um, now I'm going to grab the second tool here just to select the image itself, um, and I'm going to grab the corner and extend it. Um, okay, so there you go. The image I've made slightly bigger than the frame, move it up a little bit, I think that would look better on the page there. Okay, there's my image as I would like it to appear. At the moment it is all on the left hand side. Um, sorry, it's all on the left hand layer. Go back to the frame tool, pick up the thing and copy it. Um, control C or I'll just go up here so you can see what I'm doing, edit copy. Now I'm going to turn the left one off, so only work on the right one and then you're going to do paste in place and that will paste it in exactly the same place on the right hand side. Okay. Now what we're going to do is on this right hand side one while we've got it selected we'll make sure we're still only selecting the frame and not the actual image inside drag that across so that you can only see the portion on the right hand side. The image is still there underneath but you can only see the part on the right hand side. Now I'm going to turn that side off and turn the left side back on again and on this layer do the opposite. Grab the corner of the frame and drag it to the middle. Okay. Now you can see that on demo left I've just got the left side visible and on demo right just the right side visible. Okay, we're nearly there. I'm going to turn them both back on again. This time we need to move, leave the frame exactly where it is, but move the image. So click on the image. Now we're going to decide how far to move it. Mark showed us, our tutor Mark showed us a way of doing it um, by making a guide and lining up. I found that really overcomplicated. You've got here, X is the horizontal position of the image in relationship to the frame. So all you need to do to move this one to the left is you take seven millimeters away from this. Personally, I've just found it's easy just to click this down arrow seven times rather than trying to do the maths. And if you watch what happens while I click, watch what happens to the image. One. Oh, right, I'm moving the frame by mistake. There's the image. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the frame stayed in the same place and the image moved. Now click on the image on the right hand side and this time you're going to add seven. Watch the image again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there you have it. Now you've got this duplication in the middle which is exactly what you want. So when the pages are folded together you kind of won't see this little bit, you won't see this little bit and hopefully it will just all work lovely. 
So there you go, that's my little take on how to uh, split an image that goes across the page. Hope that's useful. See you another time.